Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today I have a multi-lock interactive plus. Key back here behind our card. And I haven't been quite successful in picking this yet, though I feel I've come pretty close. So let's see if we can get an open this time. I'm gonna use our multi-pick modified. Three, or something on, go. Just flipped our pick, there we go. Three feels like it's probably good, and we're going to leave it alone. There we go. I think we had to get the inner of it. So nothing on pin five. Both four and three feel fine. They both feel like they're possibly set. It does feel a little bit like our interactive pin on two is binding, so we're gonna try a bigger flag here. Or we're getting some kind of rotation on it. There we go. Pin two. Pin one looks like it is overset and stuck. If I wanna Ooh, shoot. Let's keep the tension on there. Pick here. There we go. That was close. I'm going to drop pin one, trying to anyway. There we go. But it's binding really hard there, so I'm going to lift it very carefully. Going up to there. Get something a little bit stronger here for this. There we go. That was our inner pin there. Get out. I 
like pin five. Get a uh, longer flag for it here. We got the kind of rotation on it, not fully set though. Let's see if we feel anything anywhere else. Do not. flag on the pin five. I feel like we got something there. A little bit of rotation there. three or four not feel anything feeling. Let's get a bigger pick out here. Oh, pick stuck. In that case, let's do this hook pick. Okay, it definitely has it all the way up there. And four. I feel definitely a lot of tension on. Go back to our shallow or more shorter modified. Just stuck it in there. Oh, come on. There we go. I think it did just do something with two right there. I don't see two falling, dropping back down either.
not that high. No, I do see two right there. Never mind. I guess we dropped one down again. It's binding again all over. Go. Or maybe we're just making progress and we had to go through those ganks. We're just getting more rotation here. Number two. There we go. We almost got this open. Yeah, I think that's what's happening right here. So we had to go back and forth in here a little bit. Yeah, two is set. Five. There we are. There we are. Three. Where's the last one here? What is left? There we go, interactive again. That's exactly what it was. We were going back and forth quite a bit. We're not back and forth, but we had to set them again. Here's our key. There we go, so. So we got a high, high, low, low, high. So all really high pins and really low pins. Pretty much almost the extreme of every, every one. Let's get this out and gutted. Start it up shaking this. Let's move all this out of the way. Get any of that. Oh wow. Okay, it turned, but our shackle's not open. Maybe we gotta turn it further. There we go. Okay. It's getting curious, but it looks like we may have oh, dropped our dang driver pins in there. So what we'll do is... This will be an extra long video and we'll zoom through some of the really boring parts where I'm just trying to figure crap out. What we can do is we can go ahead and take the drivers out. I forgot about that, so we don't worry about that actually. Completely forgot about that. So, with this, I'm just going to take off the top here. Hopefully, I can get it back on successfully. I don't know. I can see in here now. Maybe it'll be easy for me to pick it because I'd rather not take the top off if possible. That would be nice. There we go. I don't know why it didn't work the last time. Something about being in the thing there. Alright, so. Shim. Shim. Because I don't want to screw anything up. So, I'm going to put this in the end of it to knock this pin out here. See, so, yeah, I forgot about this. Let's do so. So yeah, I had to knock that pin out right there, so it's easier. I had to kind of reset it anyway and use the key. That way I could knock that out easier without screwing this up. 
because it can be a pain in the butt. Let me get this out. There we go. Now, remove this pin. There we are. Progress. Alright. Our key. You know what? I'm still going to use the shim. I don't trust it. Just that much, you know? It's fine. Hell. Actually, yeah, because I don't want those drivers to go straight down into that last hole there. Another shim that it's. Well, there's all the shims, that's okay. So focused, I didn't check the camera. One, two, three, four, five. And there's our pins, whoops, and our key. Get up there. There we go. So yeah, we got our spools on the top. We got one standard on the top here. And we actually, it looks like we have a little bit of a spool on number two here. Just a nice little lip on the end of it there. Number two and three, actually. So those are probably been what's been holding me up with this lock is uh, that lip right there at the top has been getting caught when I overset it. And it's easy to do on the second one when I'm pushing it way too high. And the third one's easy to do because as you can see, look how low it is. So very nice. Does anyone else have it? No. Very cool. Very fun lock. All right. That was the multi-lock. Interactive Plus. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.